because I'm lazy. Uh huh. Hey, like, where are you going? Oh. Get my uh, my Mr. Mime uh, name on the <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I apologize in advance for one of my nicknames. I stole a thing from Kurt, so yeah. Not bad, which Uh, Kurt. Uh, Goons Eat Squad Kurt. I stole his Garbador nickname. Strategy. If you know what that is. I don't even know what it is. Oh, <laughs> I, think I think I know what yeah. it is. Alright, I'm a deaf. Have right. fun, friendo. Fun, buddy. <laughs> Alright, what's good, peasants? We're playing Dorian here in BBR. Mid was also in call, if you guys heard for a little bit, but we are playing our man's Dorian. Uh, you can see he ends up bringing the horse, the Galvantula, Drapion, H Slash, Wigglytuff, and the Mr. Mime. Now, for those of you who may or may not know, I, uh, if you missed a team builder, go watch that. There'll be a link in the description to all the videos from this season, playlists and stuff. We have a pretty damn heat uh, Espeon set that is meant to counter lead uh, Webb's Galvantula, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead with that some bitch and I'm gonna get some stuff done. I apologize if I'm talking like an idiot. I've been watching way too much Letterkenny and I can't stop talking like a, that and it's really bad, so... Yeah, let's just, uh, let's play Pokemon and hopefully not talk like an idiot. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, Dorian leads with Gavantula, otherwise I'm gonna be a sad panda. But yeah, go check out my man's Dorian, he's the homie. One of the OGs. I played my first ever draft league game against this man, and here we are three years later. What the heck? What the, what the heck? What the heck? Voltaire is the... you love to see it. This man is getting perfectly jebated. This is the dude. You might look at this matchup and be like, "Wow, really bad lead matchup for JB." No, 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 no. You might be watching my short on lives lately and be like, "Wow, the thing happened where he didn't want the th the lead matchup thing happened again." No, this is exactly what you want. You see, I want my psychic type in against his bug type because I'm a click psychic. I'm gonna bring him down to a sash. Hopefully, he takes the bait and just attacks me. He goes from dude. You love to see it. You love to see it. I'm gonna go down to 3 HP. Perfect. Go for the Psychic. This should put him in range of the Quick Attack. Oh, that's easy Quick Attack range, buddy! Dude, 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 dude! I don't even need to think about it. I don't even need to think about it. We're clicking it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me what's up. Stay in. Stay in, you, Stay in, you nerd. Oh! <laughs> So Espeon takes out Galvantula, exactly as planned, and we don't have to deal with webs, that's fantastic. So Espeon kills Galv, Galv goes down, that's amazing. Perfect bait set is perfect. You'll love to see it. Oh my god. So it goes into Hex Calibre, which is of course going to be the Age Slash. I expect to get Shadow Sneak here, which is okay with me. Uh, I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball, I don't need this thing anymore. Uh, he didn't bring Como, which is the only other thing that was really here to hit. It's here to, it was here to get rid of Galvantula, and then it had coverage for Age Slash and the... Uh, combo, so we can just click Shadow Ball. Maybe he'll get greedy. Probably not. <clears throat> but yeah, he's just gonna go for the sneak as expected. And we are going to lose our Espeon, but hey, it did its job. It did exactly what it was meant to do, and that's that's a win in my book, bros. Now, I have an interesting um, an interesting choice to make. I, could, I should probably just go Crooked Eye. We don't see an item there. So he has he had to he has to choose uh, what is this berry he wants for uh, Crooked Eye. So we'll just go into Crook. Make the safe, smart play. Could have gotten spikes up there. Could have started uh, bulking up with Talonflame. Had, had a few different plays there. But we'll just go pro. I could taunt. Taunt feels like an overplay. How much do I take from close combat if he's not uh, banded? Nope, that's a Crocodile. I'm looking for an Aegis Slash. <laughs> uh, if he's not banded, close combat does... Uh, after Intimidate, 70% max. So I could go for Taunt on the King Shield if I want to risk that, or I could just go for Knock Off. Um, I'm thinking Knock Off is probably a better play, but I really like Taunt. I also really like Rock. I think Rocks is the biggest, the best no drawback in terms of what he could possibly click here, so we'll go for Rocks. Um, he's going to switch, so perfect. We get Rocks up here as he's going to bring in the Wigglytuff. That's cool with me. He is Frisk, so he will find my leftovers. Get our rocks up. 
No, I guess a wiggly tough. I have a few different plays I can make. Could go for Quake, which will do half. That's the no ball wiggly tough would use. Almost assuredly not. Uh, Earthquake does still around half to a wiggly tough. He could go for rocks, but he probably has those on horse. I think I'm just gonna get in um, Garbodorian here against Do dude Garbodorian against Garbod against Dorian. Wow, wow, dude, that's toxic. <laughs> and we will get to reveal the nickname, and it is of course the LA Age Slash. <laughs> Shout out to my man Kurt, uh, just Kurt for the nickname theme. Like it's gonna be a thing all season. Obviously, it doesn't I mean I think my opponents are trash. It's just a funny nickname. It's just a little poop post, and you guys get it. I kind of want to go for Cross Gas, not gonna lie. I kind of want to go for Corrosive Gas. I'm just going to fire off a Gunk Shot because I don't think he can go hard AG here. If he does, he's a little bit of a lunatic, and otherwise, Gunk Shot's pretty damn decent against the rest of his team. Mostly, I'm thinking just against this and Mr. Mime, which would be the two things I would expect him to go into. He's going to Mayhem, which is the... Okay. This thing. We'll go for our Gunkers. <laughs> I did damage, bro. Not even gonna lie. That did quite a decent amount of damage. I kind of want to go for Corrosive Gas. I don't know if Corrosive Gas fails against Poison types. That might have been something to look up beforehand. Corrosive Gas. I have 48 seconds. So I will hit up Bulbapedia real quick. 37 seconds. Still 8 minutes on the clock. I have a decent amount of time. Um, do, 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 do. Doesn't say anywhere it doesn't affect poison types, so I'm gonna click it. It's because for T spikes. Good play, good play, good play, good play. You don't need that item though, homie. You don't needs it. You don't needs it. He was shook it. Perfect. Now I can click tantrum. Get some nice damage off. He was faster than me, which is a little bit annoying, but this should do a decent amount, dude. Like. Oh, and he's going to take the Rocky Helmet trip here, too? Nice. <laughs> His removal uh, moved it a lot more than mine. But this should maybe kill? Not quite, not quite. Okay. He could go for the Earthquake or something along those lines. I'm just going to get up a Spike. I'm going to get up one Spiky Boy real quick. He does go for the EQ. That's fine. So we've seen Spikes knock EQ. I think I want to go into um, Foxer and click Bulk Up. Talonflame versus... I want to see the Mudstuff Cows. I forgot them. But if I remember correctly, I need plus two the 2 ko and Fizz Death Mud still. Okay. So we just go for Bulk Up. Probably just gonna go for Knock here if I had to guess. That's fine with me though. I am gonna Bulk Up twice because that's what I need. He's gonna go for the Knock. That's not gonna do a lot. Actually, that's a surprising amount. There's a little under half. We'll go for the second Bulk Up that we need for Mudzell. And we shall go from there. So I do live a rock slide at plus two defense from uh, uninvested mud though. If he's adamant though, I think I die. He's gonna for poison jab. Just don't poison me, and we're gooch. Hey, we even get the flame body. Nice. That means I can roost here. That means I can safely roost here, actually. See if he predicts this and go for goes for earthquake. If he does, that's uh, pretty annoying. Actually, I do live in Adamant Rock Slide from Mudstill, so if he's not banded, I live in Rock Slide from Fool. So he might have to roost twice, depending on what he goes for here. Hopefully he lives one more turn to burn, so I can roost the second time. No poison, no poison, no poison. Okay, so he does live. Now I have a decision to make. 
Is he gonna go for the... I think I just actually kill it, so we don't give him another chance to poison me. Yeah. I would have liked to roost, but I don't think I can afford to. So we'll get rid of that thing. Take very little recoil. Now we have plus two, plus two. And he has... Mudsta, which doesn't want to take it. Aegis Slash, which can't. Mr. Mime, which can't. Wiggly Tough, which I don't think can either. It's just going to be difficult to find situations where we can actually roost. Because we're going to need to roost after we kill Mudsta regardless. Um... Because we're going to take 30% recoil from the first one. Which will definitely put us in range of Rock Slide, like any Rock Slide, unfortunately. Yeah, even if he's in Fish, we're going to be in range of rock, rock Slide after recoil. I think we're actually in range of it right now. And we actually take a shit ton from Earthquake, too. If we roost. He goes into the Wiggly Tough. Wiggly Tough. This is going to have T-Wave. I'm assuming that's why he went into it. So it dies to Brave Bird if it's uninvested. If it's max HP, it dies. So... I can't risk the... I can't risk the burn... Or the, 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 the T-Wave. Actually, I think I can risk the T-Wave. I'm willing to go for Roost here and risk the T-Wave. Because we're going to take literally half HP recoil from this. I don't even think he lives this if he's fizzed up, by the way. Okay, he can live if he's just... If he does go for the T-Wave, that's to be assumed. But we're back at full now, which is really nice. I can go for Priority Brave Bird, which is gonna fucking just do so much to me, dude. It's really annoying. He has to be max fist up to live, which is a thing he could potentially be. I could also just go for another bulk up. How much do I need to Oko? Um, a Mudstill. What, what kind of boosts do I need? Plus three to it. Nope. Plus four. Plus four is a roll. Plus five. Plus five guarantees a fist death mud still kill. I don't think I can get the plus five on this thing because it's probably gonna have like T-Bolt or something. I think I just have to go for Brave Bird. I hope I don't get full paired. I, I don't know why I sacked Garbodor. Second Garbodor was stupid, I just realized, because now I can't get rid of the T-Spike. That's really fucking dumb. Top one's gonna pick up second. And we take so fucking much recoil, dude. So damn much. Um, Paralyzed, we're at 88 speed. Which means we should still outspeed an uninvested Mudstell. He'd have to be probably plus. Yeah, he has to be plus speed to outspeed this. Which I don't think he'd be Jolly Mudstell. <laughs> SD Horse. Yeah, if, if Horse got fucking swords, then it would be wild. I didn't mean Showdown, like Showdown Road. Um, Showdown Song. Do I go for the burn? So I can potentially live? I think I have to go for damage one way or the other. If he's uh, if he's offensive, does he die? Actually, hold on. If he's offensive, does he just fucking die? He has a roll to die if he's... Um... After Rox, this has a 6% chance to kill if he's just max HP. And like I said, he has to be jolly to outspeed me. Um, I'm gonna go for Flare Blitz because of the burn chance, because I think that would be hilarious. It's the same roll. Obviously, they're the same base power, but stab. And we kill it. Hell yeah. Oh, I crit the horse. No! I'm sorry, horse. I'm not sorry to Dorian. I'm sorry to the horse. Fuck. <laughs> sorry, Mudstyle. I don't mean it, man. You know I love you. <laughs> I crit the horse, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am sorry to Dorian too, obviously. I'm just I'm more sorry to Mudstell. Because in a buddy. Is that a is that an elf reference? I, I'm hoping he's going for the elf reference there. Um I don't think I can really do anything here. I, I think I think this Pokemon has served its purpose. So we can just kinda let it go though. He goes for the free stride, which should kill me, I would assume. Yeah, there's I could have attempted to keep Talonflame alive, but it did its job, dude. It did its job. Adequately. Uh, so Mr. Mime's gonna grab one. What killed, um, what killed my damn... Drapion killed Garbodor. So... Um... I think I just have to go into him, which is this thing. 
and then click plus with us. I'm really mad at myself for not getting rid of two spikes. That was really stupid of me, and that could potentially cost me the game. Because this is by no means over. It's not boots, we know that. Um, he's deviolent. He has a chance to down a plasma fist. So we just click it. I don't think Aegislash can take two. I might be wrong. I crit the damn horse, dude. That's hilarious. That's really, really funny. It sucks for my opponent, obviously, but if it were anyone other than Dorian, I would actually feel bad. Uh, but we'll go for Plasma Fist here. If he's not EV alive, he's just straight up dead. He is very freaking bulky and very freaking EV alive. He's gonna go for spin. Good play. Oh! <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that! The, 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 uh, the secondary effect of Plasma Fist. That is the only time I've ever seen that actually work. <laughs> this battle's fucking wild. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever seen that work. Like, ever seen that effect actually do something. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, leave a like for that. <laughs> I forgot about it too, man. I completely forgot about that shit too. Uh, don't, don't give him too much aid for that, because... Dude, I, I I totally forgot that was a thing. Like, 100%. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> but Age of Slash is still a gigantic threat, so we have to be careful here. Um, <laughs> I, I, I love it, dude. That is so funny. I have never seen that work. And I've trapped the Zero Aura a lot, by the way. Like, this is like the third or fourth time I've used it, and I haven't even mentioned it yet this season, but I had it last season in the too. Like, I completely forgot about that until I like, went back and watched my draft analysis because I was curious. Um, this is bad. This is really bad. Because this thing can still win the game. This thing can definitely still win the game. Uh, but I think... I don't think plus two sneak will kill Kyrim after rocks. That's something I need to check if it does. I think I lose, regardless of what I do. Um... Two, Kiram, Shadow Sneak, after Rocks on my side. Okay, we're fine. And it'll never outspeed me because I'm running a ton of speed. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are dandy. He's gonna stance change, probably go for Sneak, which will, I assume, kill this? I would think. Yeah, it does. Okay. So AD's gonna go down. Um, or no, Zero is gonna go down, excuse me. And I think I go cure him now. Or do I go... This could give him another SD, which is scary. I could just taunt it. And we, we, go, we go into Crook and Taunt. We have to go Crook and Taunt, I think. So put him at only plus one attack, which will guarantee keep him out of range of Kyurem. I can taunt you. Uh, taunt goes through King Show for those of you who don't know, and we should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Just taunt. That way he can't SD. <laughs> this battle was wild. Go subscribe to Dorian, please, and thank you. Oh my god. I think we're okay though. Should be. We're just taunt here. We'll probably find out his other coverage move if he just goes for close combat. Or whatever his other move is. He does go for the CC. I think I die? I definitely die. But that was my way of guaranteeing a win. He can't go for, um, what's it called now? Um, he can't go for... King Shield, he has to just stay it and die to Earth Power. And we can drop it in. It took a it took a positive fist earlier, so if I missed the if he shook a Hold on, let's <laughs> Whatever dude. I think it'll die. Because it does one it does two hundred If he shook it, he's he, yeah, he he can't live, dude. He can't live. 
So Kirim will come in and hopefully just pick up this final kill. I could have just risked Kirim, but um and you know got and got potentially gotten a 2-0, but I don't think it was worth the risk of um potentially letting Aegis Slash get up another SD. So that's why I sat here or uh, Crocodile. I didn't want to risk uh, this thing further setting up. I think it was worth the play. He crits me though. That did a lot. He did crit me, you motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so the other power will go off and that will of course die. And that's gonna be a 1-0 win for you, boy. So I am one and one, still minus one, unfortunately. Um, which makes more, means we're actually tied with Dorian, funnily enough. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a GG, definitely. Go check out my man. See, like I've been saying, he's one of my OG homies on the internet. You guys know him, you die, you guys love him and stuff. And yeah, dude. Uh, Talonflame did the work, really proud of that set. Espeon worked to absolute perfection. And not a whole hell of a lot else to see here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.